Hi everyone, this is Srinivas from Amir Pet Technologies. In this video, I'm going to explain about this pattern. See, I want to display the pattern like this is star, like chakra. Right? How to display this pattern means what? For example, here it is. We can divide this pattern into two parts. This is one part. This is one part. And exactly that opposite one. Suppose this is one part. Is a one. And next one, this is another part. Another part. This is. So then this chakra will come. But here it is, how can we analyze? How to write the code for this one? So first of all, as we are representing this one with the rows and columns. How many rows are there? So total number of rows, five I am taking. How many columns? For example, total number of columns, seven I am taking. As we know that outer loop is representing the number of rows. Inner loop is representing the number of columns in pattern programming. So I'm doing, suppose here it is, I'm writing with online compilers. For example, from our website only we are writing, suppose compilers. I'm using first a Java compiler, Java editor. Here I'm writing the code. Some code is there that we are modifying. Outer for loop, yeah, outer for loop, repeating five times. Because we have five rows. And here it is a inner loop is representing number of columns. So here it is a seven times we are writing for int j equals to one, j less than or equals to five, j plus plus. We are writing this seven times. So seven times we are repeating. Now here we are writing the code because we need to print stars only in these areas. See, when the line intersecting, there only we need to display the stars. Remaining all are spaces. So, based on condition. If the condition is a satisfied, then we are printing. System.out.print star we are printing. If not, just we are printing the space. System.out.print space we are printing. Space. Right, once one, one iteration of inner loop completed, I want to send the control to next line. System.out.println, it will send the control to next line. Okay, so what are the conditions? Now we are, we are writing conditions one by one, one by one. See, this is the basic skeleton. After that, we need to think about the conditions. So what are the conditions? Look at this. I representing number of rows. J representing number of columns. Now in this first case, here it is. In this first case, what is happening? First, we need to write I equals to. I equals to 2. Because the complete line you need to display. Complete line. I equals to 2. So here we are writing that if i equals to 2, then I'm executing this project and checking the output. This is what the second row, second row values printing. That is one. Next, as we are displaying this, now we are going to display this one, this part, this cross line I'm displaying. But see, whenever you are writing this cross line, how can you write means? Look at that. When i equals to 2, when i equals to 2, what is the j value? Is 1. Next, when i equals to 3, i equals to 3, j value is 2. When i equals to 4, j value is 3. When i equals to 5, i equals to 5, j value is a 4. Intersection values, very, very important. See, when i equals to 2, 
j equals to 1. Next line, when i equals to 3, j equals to 2. When i equals to 4, j equals to 3. So let me explain more clearly. Now, look at that. Now I'm explaining that. Here, when i equals to 2, j equals to 1. Because this is the line we are printing. This is the line. So all intersection points we need to understand. All intersection points. When i equals to 2, j equals to 1. I equals to 3, j equals to 2. I equals to 4, j equals to 3. I equals to 5, j equals to 4. That is. So here we need to write the condition j equals to j equals to i minus 1. i value 2, 2 minus 1, 1. i value 3, 3 minus 1, 2. So when this is satisfied, then automatically this line will come. So here we are adding that line or we are adding that line with one parenthesis. Now again, I'm executing the code. When I execute, look at this. Automatically it comes. Next, we are, we are going to complete this triangle, reverse triangle. Nothing but now I am executing this one. This part I am executing. Now look at this. When j equals to 7, i equals to 2. i equals to 2, j equals to 7. i equals to 3, j equals to 6. i equals to 4, j equals to 5. i equals to 5, j equals to 4. Now I am writing those values here. I'm writing those values here. Look at this. When when j equals to or when i equals to 2, j value is a 7. When i equals to 3, next line, j value decreased 6. j value 6. When i equals to 4, when i increasing, j value decreasing, you need to understand that. When i equals to 5, j value become 4. Nothing but j value equals to how you will get 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is increasing and here it is a decreasing. Decreasing. What will give 2? 2? 2 plus 5? Then 3 plus 4? No, it's not. Then how you will get 7, 6, 5, 4 with the values 2, 3, 4, 5. With the values 2, 3, 4, 5. Look at this. 7 plus 2, 9. So, I am writing 9 minus i. Now try to understand. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 3, 6. 9 minus 4, 5. 9 minus 5, 4. So, j equal to 9 minus i. We are giving j equal to 9 minus i. j equals to 9 minus i. Now, I am executing this one. Now, look at this. Is completed half part. Next, we need to think about the remaining half. 
right now this is completed now we need to discuss about this so first i am telling about a four sir when i equal to four the complete line i want to display okay do it directly so here i equals to four then execute the code it will run like this it will run like this then we are writing this one we need to concentrate on this now this so whenever we are executing this one look at this again here it is intersection point i equal to 1 j4 i equal to 2 j3 i equal to 3 j2 right i equal to 4 j1 that is i equals to 1 then j equals to 4 i equals to 2 then j3 i equals to 3 then j2 i equals to 4 then j1 again same story is increasing and it is decreasing so what we should do 4 plus 1 5 so j equals to 5 minus i look at this 5 minus 1 4 5 minus 2 3 5 minus 3 2 5 minus 4 1 so j equals to 5 minus i j equals to 5 minus i j equals to 5 minus i when you run remaining thing not required fifth row no need to display look at that it is displaying this automatically came why because whenever you have written this one right and previously we completed this one sixth one is not required right shape came but one problem is sir looking little bit odd sir if i remove this if i remove this if i remove this perfectly it will show perfectly it will show so what is that so suppose here i want to make it star properly here suppose i am writing like this i am writing like this sir so here star appear here next star appear here here and here next again all stars and here it is a star and here it is a star Oh, sorry. Here it is a star. Sir, it is it is visible like this. It's not looking like star. When it will become means if I remove this, 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 now see it's look like a star pattern. Now I am doing the same thing. I want to display these things in even location. I mean, odd locations only. Nothing but I want to remove this, remove this, remove this. I want to display only when J is odd. J is odd. J is odd. J is odd. So when I equals to 2, J must be odd number. I think what when i equals to 2 j must be odd number and j mod 2 not equal to 0 it's odd number next this one also i want to remove this 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 when again i equal to 4 j must be odd number when i equal to 4 here also same story j equals to odd number j mod 2 not equal to 0 these are the conditions we are writing now if you run the code look at the output of this code perfectly it is printing that star 
with the five conditions exactly you can display that star five conditions so how can we execute same thing in dot net it's not a big thing just open open the compilers that c sharp editor in that c sharp editor in place of system dot out dot print simply you can write console dot write here also we are writing that console dot write because logic is the same and here to send the control to next line we are writing console dot write line just run the code for just wait this is if block something and it's close this is else block and this is for loop and here now when you run the code look at the output same output came okay so the logic is common to display that so what is the logic these are the conditions these are the conditions whenever you write these conditions this condition is for this this condition is for this right this condition is for this 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 then automatically it will display that chakra hope you understood everyone please practice thank you all